You know, we had a tough one to close out the uh, regular season, the conference uh, season against uh, Cincinnati, where we we lost at the end. Um, came down, we made a big play, and those guys got an offensive rebound and put back. So it kind of rocked us a little bit. You know, we wanted to have some momentum going into our conference championships. And so, uh, you know, with SMU, you know, they pose a great problem. You know, they're really good offensively. You know, a lot of times they can be out on the floor playing with, you know, five guards. They want to space you and, and shoot the three ball. And they have a really good point guard that makes it all work in, in, in Davis. So we're going to have our hands full. we got to try to make sure we keep him out of the paint. we got to make sure we try to do our best at guarding that three-point line against those guys. Coach, welcome up to questions now for Coach Aaron McKee. Please star one on your telephone keypad. We'll put you in the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. Go right ahead with questions, please. Thank you. Our first question will come from Damon Siles with Rivals.com. Aaron, good morning, man. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. The last time you guys played SMU, uh, you guys came back from 17 points down uh, to get the win in, in overtime. What did you learn about your team in that win, and what are the expectations uh from you as a coach uh, in, t- in discussing SMU, they remember this as well. Well, they, they showed some grit, some resilience, because they, they came in uh, SMU and hit us in the mouth early. They they made a ton of shots um, in the first half. It was some contested threes. They got out in transition, and they, they beat up on us pretty pretty bad in the first half. And, and, you know, the guys, you know, we went in halftime, and, you know, I got after them. A little bit, and guys came out and they responded. And, and I just remember we had to shake the lineup up some and do some things. We had to go smaller uh, to match up with these guys because they were making a lot from the uh, perimeter, and we just had to do a better job of, of guarding the three ball. And, and it, it, it helped us because we were able to match those guys uh, nose to nose with the with the foot speed and, and be able to keep guys in front of us uh, to keep us you know out of rotation. And uh, we started to make some shots and got the game close. And we were able to pull it off, but we certainly don't want to dig a hole for ourselves against a team like SMU, especially being out in Texas, where they, you know, where they'll be close to home. You talk to a lot of coaches, and and they'll always tell you that it's tougher to play an opponent that is uh, hungry, looking for, looking to get out of a slump, versus the team that is, you know, riding the hot streak. And SMU mm-hmm. right now, uh, riding a little bit of a of a slump. Uh, does, does that hold true in your opinion here? I mean, uh, with these guys still trying to figure things out in the last uh, week or so? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you talk about two desperate teams that's that's coming in and because, and, you know, everybody that's in tournament play and tournament mode feel like they got a chance to go get a bid, NCAA bid, and this is the best way to, when there's some uncertainty behind that, this is the best way of, of being able to do it. I mean, at this point of the season, we pretty much, you know, all teams uh, pretty much showed everybody who we are because, you know, your, your record states that. Um, so, you know, we're trying to steal a bit, and, and the best way to do it, and our only opportunity to do it at this point is in conference play, tournament play. Appreciate you, man. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Our next question will come from Donald Hunt with the Philadelphia Tribune. Aaron, how you doing, man? Good. How you doing, Donald? All right, doing good. Listen, man, can you talk a little bit about uh, uh, Devondre Perry who came in uh, off the bench and gave you some real good minutes against Cincinnati and, and how his role will uh, impact the team in the tournament? Yeah, his his versatility, you know, his size, it, it'll help versus a team like uh, SMU because they go smaller and they just try to space you out, and you got to be able to match uh, with that. You also have to be able to score the ball against those guys. And, and you know, if he's making shots for us as he did against Cincinnati, it, it puts us in positions, uh, position to, you know, win basketball games, especially if he's making that, that, that three ball. Okay. All right, Dan. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, man. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Our next question will come from Joey Knight with the Tampa Bay Times. Aaron, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you about 
USF since you played them only a week ago, and I'm sure mm-hmm. you're probably going to be studying their tape of, S- of SMU. Um, a lot of people have said they're kind of the team nobody wants to play. Uh, just from what you've seen and coached against, um, what makes them a tough out in this tournament? USF you're talking about? Yes, correct. Okay. They're, um, they're led by two um, experienced guards that, that, that plays hard. Um, those guys get after you uh, defensively. And, and Michael Durr is, is developing and, and growing as a basketball player. And, and Justin Brown is starting to make shots for those guys. So, you know, they're starting to peak at the right time. You know, when you got experience help you win around this time of year and you got two guards in Rideau and Collins who are experienced in these situations. You got Browns making shots and you got Durr who's doing the grunt work in the, in the paint. So they could be a scary matchup for a lot of teams. Just in terms of the way they defend, especially on the perimeter, are, are they one of the tougher defensive teams in this league, you would say? Yeah, they 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 force you to play in the mud, and they do all the little things. Um, they win those 50-50 balls. They rebound the ball well. Um, so they they you know you gotta be you gotta be on your game, and you can't turn the ball over against those guys because they'll make you pay. I appreciate it, Aaron. Yep. Thanks. You get one more for Coach McKee, please. Thank you. Our last question will come from Dom Amore with the Hartford Current. Yeah, hi, uh, Coach. Uh, good morning. Uh, I just want to ask you, uh, the way the league season went, where <clears throat> even the teams that are in the bottom of the standings seem to play the better teams close, mm-hmm. how wide open is this tournament for you as, as, as conference tournaments go, and then particularly uh, you know, where you see UConn as maybe a threat or a danger uh, in this tournament? It's, I, I would say it's wide open, but I will also say the top four teams have separated themselves because the record indicates that. Um, you know, I felt coming into the year that, you know, anybody could beat anybody. I, I really didn't see a clear favorite as to who was going to win the conference. Obviously, with all the young talent that Memphis was bringing in, that everybody had picked those guys to, you know, be at the top and, and you know that didn't happen, obviously, because some you know some situations that happened with those guys. But it's a battle every night with with each game in the conference, and they're always good games. And it comes down to the last five minutes of the game, so it's going to be a very interesting uh, tournament. Is that what you take on the way UConn finished the season, uh, Aaron? Those guys always, you know, played hard, and 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 it was just taking some time for them to to gel. Um, you know, they had a few injuries, but you know, one guy went down, the next guy stepped up, and they just stayed the course, and they're just playing hard and playing together, and they're being led by Christian Vital. He's playing really well right now, and when he's playing well, it makes that team that much harder to beat. Thanks so much, Eric. Uh huh. You're welcome. Coach McKee, thanks so much for your time. We wish you safe travels to Fort Worth. Look forward to seeing you down there on Thursday. All right. Thanks, guys.